Days after President Bola Tinubu promised to put a halt to crude oil theft in the country, he meets with prominent Niger Delta activists, Mr. Asari Dukubo, at the State House. It is the activists' first meeting with the president and a grand opportunity to open up on the challenge of crude oil theft. 99% of oil theft can be traced to the Nigerian military the Army and the Navy especially. The Army and the Navy intimidate the civil defense who are by status the people who are supposed to uh, guard these pipelines. And there are notorious naval commanders who are known to be kingpins of these bunkering activities. Even if they give one billion contracts to everybody in the Niger Delta, because these military men are harmed from the army and the navy, nothing will happen. The president has promised to take decisive action to make sure that this does not continue. They have migrated from the pipeline and have gone directly to the oil well heads. They set up half-hazard facilities they call local refinery, artisan refinery. This is crime against humanity. The direct accusation by the Niger Delta leader appears to correlate with revelations in 2022 by the group CEO of NNPCL, Mr. Mili Kiari, who had pointed fingers at security agencies and government officials, among others, for their complicity. The people doing the bunkering are not our people because they cannot bring those big supercargo uh, ships, vessels that are are almost the size of this villa. They don't have the resources. There are powerful cabals, far more stronger, who think they are far more stronger. But they've met their match. And their match is President Ahmad Balatinibu. He is going to bring all of them. He is going to expose all of them. And many people will be marching to Kujeb and Krikri prison. On insecurity in the country, Mr. Dukubo again reacts to the arrest of self-acclaimed IPOB leader Namdi Kanu. This is a criminal. He should face the law. What of the people who have died by, as I'm talking, Namdi Kanu does not have any control over the, what is happening in the Southeast. Simeon Epa had come out pretending that he's with Namdi Kanu. He has actually plotted a coup against Namdi Kanu to take over the leadership of IPOP. That is the truth of the matter. So releasing in the Kano is rewarding criminality and rewarding gruesome murder of innocent people. President Bola Tinubu has had a significant number of visitors during the week, wrapped it up with the visit of former governor of Zamfara State, Mr. Bello Matawale, and Africa's business tycoon, Mr. Aliko Dangote, who chose to reschedule a briefing on his visit till next week. From the presidential villa, Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.